In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to sort out your image sizes. Uh, I got sent an email the other day from someone who had created a video following my tutorial that I put up recently, where we create an Amazon affiliate site using WooZone and the storefront theme. And they'd uh, gone through the tutorial, set the site up, all was going well, but they noticed that the images looked a little bit weird. They're all different sizes, that kind of thing. Now this problem has come up previously with Flatsome and, and Kingdom as well, I think, some of the other themes that I've been using. So I'm gonna show you how to fix that and how to get your images all the same size and looking nice. Let's go. Hello, it's Alex here from WP Eagle. Hope you're all well. Uh, now, before we get started, if you're not already subscribed, uh, please click the subscribe button below and if you like what I'm doing the like button really does help me so please give it a click if you would be so kind. Now that's out of the way let's get on with the video so as I said in the introduction I'm going to be resizing some images um, that are pulled in from Amazon using WooZone. This should work on pretty much any WooCommerce theme however for this example I'm going to be using Storefront. So let's get on the computer and take a look. Okay, so I'm over at this site, shoescrave.com. This site was sent to me via email by one of my viewers who's having a problem with the image size. So I thought, hey, what a good opportunity to create a quick video so I can help um, not just one person, but hopefully many people out in one hit. So if we scroll down, um, here's our products. We see they're all different sizes. And this is because the images on Amazon are all different sizes. So it pulls them down and if, you know, they're different, they're different and this is what they look like. So all we need to do is just one little setting to get this uh, looking a bit better. And uh, we're just basically gonna just adjust the sizes. So what we need to do first is actually work out the size of the smallest image. And then we'll adjust the bigger ones to kind of line up with that. So it looks like it's probably this one here, this UG uh, Kip Sherling boot. If I just go right click and then inspect and just get a little hover and go over it. I can see that the image here, oh, um, I can't point, but as you can see up there, it's 231.3 by 186.88. Uh, it's that bit there, I'll, I'll put an arrow up so you, you can see what I'm talking about. So that's the, kind of the minimum size. So if we go for that kind of range, we should be fine. So uh, I'm gonna remember, we'll try and remember, I'm gonna remember 230 by 186. Let's just you know round it down a little bit. 230 by 186. So let's go into um, <clears throat> our dashboard. Now obviously those sizes may vary depending on the products and things you're putting down, but maybe as a guide, though those dimensions are probably gonna work for most sites, I'd have thought. So I'm gonna go into WooCommerce and settings. Then I'm gonna go into products, then display, and scroll down. And it's this one here, the catalog images. That's the one that we want to adjust. So 230 by one. Eight, six, save changes. Now we don't need to regenerate any thumbnails or anything like that because the images are pulled down dynamically um, from Amazon. So it should just do it, let's have a look. There we go, look, they're all the same size now and they're not looking too bad. One other thing you might wanna do, uh, this is entirely optional, is get these buttons all in, in kind of a row so they're not going up and down because these are kind of, they're adjusting themselves based on the amount of text and whether we've got this little sale thing. Uh, and uh, I don't know, I don't think it sits very nicely on the eye. I'd rather they were all in like a row. So to do that, we're gonna need a little bit of custom CSS. So I'm just gonna go into inspect. Now this is gonna vary depending on the theme. This is storefront theme, as I've already said. So this bit I'm doing now will only apply to storefront theme, although the image thing that I just did in WooCommerce settings, that should apply to, to any WooCommerce theme. But this bit is just for storefront people. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uh, find this bit. Yeah, that looks good. I've got this bit of CSS over here, ul.products. Sorry, ul.product space, li.product space, blah, blah, blah. I will put this bit of code onto WP Eagle so you can just copy and paste it onto your site. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a, oh, don't want my capitals on. I'm gonna add a minimum height. So CSS attribute is min hyphen height. And then I'm gonna have a guess, let's say 200 pixels. 
No, maybe more than that. Uh, 300 picks. Oh, yeah, they're moving. Still not quite lined up. And what are we saying? 320? Yeah, maybe even 310. No, we'll go for free 320. There we go, they're all in a row. So I'm just gonna copy this bit of code. I'm gonna go to customize. Scroll down, additional CSS, and then I'm just gonna paste it into here. Save and publish. And then let's have a look. And there we go. I think that looks a bit better. That brings us to the end of this video. Hopefully all your images are now the same size and looking good. If they're not, or if you've got another problem or question or comment or something like that, do leave it below. I do love to hear from you guys and I do try and reply to as many as I possibly can. If you're not already part of the WP Eagle family, then please do click on the little eagle up there, become a subscriber and click the little bell to be notified when I upload a new video, which is generally every single week. And talking of videos, here's one. It's been chosen specially for you. Hope you enjoy it. Until next time, bye for now.